automotive industry is transforming rapidly with the advent of automated driving, connected V2X technologies and over-the-air updates. Vehicles not only get developed when in the production but also get upgraded while being driven on the road. The over-the-air software updates help on road vehicles to keep pace with the fast-evolving technologies of the future. This requires a software-oriented architecture which is flexible and adaptive to the next generation of ECUs. The Autosar Consortium has introduced the adaptive Autosar platform to address this problem. The classic Autosar platform works in tandem with the adaptive Autosar platform. This enables dynamic deployment of applications, provides an environment for applications that require high-end computing power and seamlessly connects with deeply embedded and non-Autosar systems. We at KPIT have developed a service-oriented architecture-based solution that demonstrates how adaptive and classic Autosar can coexist. And how the software over the air soda helps upgrade advanced driver assistance systems or any other adaptive applications on a target platform. This solution is based on four building blocks: the DRA80 XME VM, Genevi Software Over the Air Server, SOTA, CanCasXL, and Vector Can OE. The production version of KPIT Adaptive Autosar and Classic Autosar run on different cores of the same ECU. As an illustration, you can see the campaign for radar application being installed by Update and Configuration Management UCM, and started by Execution Management. The Fusion application is installed in a similar manner, it discovers and subscribes to the radar service and communication between radar and fusion is established over some IP. Front object distance sent from radar is received and processed by fusion. When Highway Assist is installed similarly it connects with the CarMaker simulator that showcases the adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist features. Once the EM stops the radar application, UCM uninstalls. Communication between radar and fusion is lost and no more messages are sent. When Highway Assist application is uninstalled, the simulated car will either move outside the lane or lose control. As you can see, all throughout the process, CAN messages are communicated to and fro from classic and adaptive Autosar over IPC. This solution has been developed by our in-house experts working on Autosar across customers. KPIT's Autosar expertise is based on over 15 years of rich experience of developing embedded software for automotive industry. To know more about KPIT's Autosar practice, please visit www.kpit.com/solutions/autosar.